I think that test was the toughest I've ever done. But fingers crossed, I think I, I did all right. OK, 15 minutes, all right? Mm -hmm. The veal cheeks, yes? Yeah. I think it's a very brave person that takes on any form of brazing, and especially cheeks, which is notoriously tough. How's your cheeks look? They're falling apart in the pan, which is a good sign. Everything else on the dish seems a little sweet. Butternut squash and parsnip can be sweet. Pom dauphine could be a little on the sweet side. Hopefully, the beer will give some bitterness and, and that will balance things out, but it's, it's all in the cooking of the cheek. That looks great. Oh, thank you. Really nice. Off you go. There well you done. Go. Brilliant. Brilliant effort. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you very much. You've got a beer braised veal cheek on top of parsnip puree with some butternut squash, pomme dauphine, and some parsnip crisps. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think that test was the toughest I've ever done. But fingers crossed, I think I, I did all right. The veal is so, so tender for an hour and 15 minutes. Mm. That's incredible. The texture is phenomenal. I'm loving the roasted butternut squash. The puree, lovely. And the crisps are lovely. That is perfect for me. Everything was seasoned. I enjoyed the entire dish. The sauce is lovely and sticky. The pom dauphine are light and delicious. Sweet parsnip across the top. It's fantastic with that veal cheek. That is an accomplished plate of food. You've got 15 minutes. You're going to be ready in 15? Yeah. I think it's a classic combination, isn't it? Scallops and black pudding. You know that's going to work well. You know, with the cooking of his scallops, to do so many all at once, he's going to have to be careful. Remember the order they go in in the pan, take them out, make sure they're well seasoned individually. You happy with the scallops? I'm happy with most of them. But that whiskey cream foam, that could overpower if it's too harsh in alcohol. It's not super froth the way I'd want it, but there should be enough foam. Anything else to go on the plate? This is it. You and let's go. Let's go. Big smile on your face. That's it, mate. Good luck. Hiya. So I've cooked for you some scallops with some black pudding, a whiskey cream foam, and some rocket. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The black pudding is fantastic. Really tasty, but my scallops are slightly over. I think where your scallop is slightly over, mine is slightly under, a little bit chewy. The rocket, it's a bit lackluster. Could have been treated with a bit more respect, and I haven't got a foam. The whiskey, unfortunately, isn't there in flavour, and I want to taste more of that. The idea was nice. I think the execution's just let it down a little bit. Mm. Scallops look nice. Plates, unremarkable. Yeah, I'm surprised. Scallops are cooked beautifully, really well seasoned. I like the texture of the black pudding. The problem with this dish is there's not enough sauce. I'm not 100% happy with everything I put on the dish. My foam didn't nail. Like, it just, it didn't set. I do, I'm not 100% sure why, and that's, that's a frustrating element for me. The feedback from the dining room was fantastic. As you know, we have only got three quarter-final places to give. The guests in the dining room cook of the day is Shaheen. Yes. Congratulations, you are a quarter-finalist. Thank you very much. Greg and I also have a cook of the day who we would like to become a quarter-finalist. Charlotte, congratulations. Thank you. But after much deliberation, the last quarter-final place is going to Ewan. Congratulations. <laughs>